Hi, Real Recapped here. Today, we're going to recap the horror movie from 2021 called The House on the Bayou. So without any further delay, let's get started. The film starts with John walking into his house to find his wife, Jessica, sitting in the living room. She's a realtor, and she seems to be crying. John asks her what's wrong, and she shows him some pictures. These are intimate pictures of John with his student Vivian. John tries to make up some excuses and even tells Jessica that he made a mistake. He's fearing the worst, but Jessica tells him that she doesn't want to abandon him by getting a divorce. She wants to give John a second chance. Still, she has some conditions. John has to break up with Vivian and never see her again. He also has to take a trip with his family to a vacation home near the bayou. He agrees to all of these conditions instantly. The very next day, the whole family is driving to their vacation home. Anna isn't so keen about going to a place in the middle of nowhere. Jessica, on the other hand, hasn't forgiven John, and no matter how much he tries to connect, she just pushes him away. They eventually reach a giant property that has a mansion. They're all excited to see such a luxurious place. Jessica says that the house is on sale, but the owners allowed her to rent it for a month. After moving in, they quickly go to a huge pool that's right next to the house. John wants to have a drink, and Jessica wants to cook veal cutlets. So, she asks him to go to the store that's about 30 miles away and buy some food and groceries. John says he doesn't like cutlets, but Jessica insists. So, John asks Anna to accompany him on this grocery run. At the store, Anna is engrossed in the magazine section while John is buying food. He sees the cutlets, but doesn't buy them. Instead, he just picks up burger meat. Anna, on the other hand, meets a guy named Isaac, who compliments her on her looks. He asks her where she's staying, and Anna gives him the address, and also tells him that she's 15. Isaac said he knows the place, and he offers to take her out for ice cream someday. After he leaves, John comes back and lies that the shop didn't have any cutlets. They go to the counter, where an old man starts making a bill. After leaving the store, John sees that the old man has written something on the receipt. The strange warning spooks John a little. They drive back home and enter the house to see a camera set up by Jessica. They also hear some banging and see Jessica trying to open a locked door. She doesn't have the key for it, and she doesn't want to break it. She's also a little mad when John tells her that there was no veal at the store, so he bought burger meat. Right then, the doorbell rings, and Jessica opens the door to see Isaac, who says that he lives near their house with his grandfather who owns the shop. He invites Jessica's family for dinner and says that they're making veal cutlets because they're available at the shop. Jessica realizes that John lied to her, so she says yes to Isaac's offer. That evening, they are getting ready, and Jessica is mad at John for lying to her again. She's crying and telling him how much she loved him and how badly he hurt her. He apologizes for his actions and promises to make his marriage work. Anna, on the other hand, is sitting in the living room when she has a nosebleed. Her parents clean it up, and Anna says she doesn't want to go anywhere for dinner that night because she isn't feeling too good. Jessica has no choice, so she agrees to stay home. Right then, the doorbell rings again. Jessica and John open the door to see Isaac, who says that their oven broke down, so they decided to bring the food to this mansion and cook it here. But he say it is a local tradition to cook food for new neighbors. The couple hesitantly agrees, and John helps Isaac's grandfather during the cooking. He asks about the warning that the old man wrote. The old-timer says that John has done something evil, and it has opened a door for the devil, so John should be careful. John, on the other hand, replies that he doesn't believe in the devil. In the living room, Jessica is asking Isaac about his parents, who apparently both died of bone cancer. She is concerned about Isaac's behavior towards Anna. At dinner, Isaac and the old man are being weird. Isaac asks to light some candles, and he then magically finds the right drawer that has candles. Jessica asks him how he found those candles, and Isaac says he just feels these things. He asks for matches, so Jessica and John go out to find some. Jessica tells John that she wants those guys out of the house. They go back and see that Isaac has lit up all the candles with his fingers. Jessica tells them that they have to leave, and this makes Isaac angry. Right then, Anna has another nosebleed, and she passes out. While cleaning the blood from her daughter's face, Jessica firmly tells Isaac to get out of the house, but he says he doesn't want to. 
This is when they hear their cat crying in pain. They run to check what's happening and see that the cat has somehow gone inside the locked room. Now Isaac has the key for this room, but he stalls for time and plays games with John, who is concerned about the cat. Something is hurting the cat inside the room. Isaac finally gives the key to John, who wants to open the door, but Jessica stops him because she thinks something dangerous is in the room. At this point, Isaac goes to the toilet, and his grandfather takes the family to the living room. He explains to them that Isaac isn't his grandson. In fact, Isaac appeared out of nowhere in the old man's life, and he claims that Isaac is very old, but still looks like a teenager. He then goes to put some music on, but instead of the music, they hear a recording where John is telling Vivian that he will divorce his wife after the vacation. This makes Jessica angry, who finally figures out that her marriage is beyond saving. She takes off her ring and wants a divorce. That's when Isaac comes back with the cat. All of this makes John mad, and they start arguing. That's when Anna sees a wild animal outside and screams. They start looking through the window, while Isaac silently takes out the shotgun from under the table. He points it at the family, and also picks up the camera that Jessica placed earlier. He calls himself the son of Satan and also compares himself to Charles Manson. He wants to have a talk with John. So, he hands his gun to the old man and goes outside with John. When they are a few hundred yards away, John pushes Isaac and asks him why he's ruining his plan. John hired Isaac and the old man to kill his wife Jessica. But for some reason, Isaac is acting all strange, and he looks out of control. John says that the only way Isaac will receive $100,000 is if he follows the plan and kills Jessica. Inside, Jessica tells the old man that she will give him all the money in the world if he let her and Anna go. They're talking when Isaac and John return. Isaac says that he wants to rob the place, and he just mistook them for being the owners of this house. He plans to lock them in the strange room and leave after he's done looting. Jessica is hesitant, but she has to do what Isaac says, because they have a gun. They go to the room, but Isaac only locks John inside. John is screaming to open the door when the doorbell rings, and Isaac asks Jessica to see who's at the door. She goes downstairs and picks up a hammer. It's Vivian at the door, and she says that John texted her to come there. Jessica explains to Vivian how they're being robbed, and she wants Vivian to go to the police. So, Vivian gives her a pepper spray and goes to her car, but the car doesn't start, and it's also locked. Inside, the old man takes Anna downstairs, while Isaac asks John to open the closet inside the room. When John does so, he's instantly attacked by something. Outside the house, the old man asks Anna to pour gasoline on the car. He is threatening to shoot Jessica and Anna if they don't oblige. So, Jessica grabs the can and pours gasoline on the car, while Vivian is screaming inside. After she's done, the old man throws a lighter on the car, and it goes up in flames. Vivian is screaming, and Anna can't take it anymore, so she starts to run. The old man tries to shoot her, but Jessica hits him in the head. After the old man dies, Jessica gives the shotgun and the pepper spray to Anna, in case Isaac tried to attack her. She then goes inside to look for her husband. She looks around the house and sees that the locked door is now open. Inside, John is lying on the floor with his stomach ripped open. There is also a wild animal in the room. Jessica takes the car keys from John, who is sorry about everything. She then closes the door and hears John getting eaten by the animal. Outside, Anna sees Isaac, who tells her that he wants to take her away. He then quickly grabs the gun from Anna's hand, who shoots a bullet in the air. Jessica hears the gunshot and runs outside to see Anna being dragged into a boat. Isaac tells her about how John hired them to take his wife out. However, John was an evil man, so he had to be taken out. Isaac is babbling these strange things when Anna hits his eyes with pepper spray. Jessica, on the other hand, grabs the gun and shoots Isaac in the chest. Isaac falls down and says that he and the old man built that house and they have been using it to hunt down bad people for centuries. Jessica obviously doesn't believe it and she takes Anna to the car and they get out of there. She explains everything to the sheriff, who says that no such house exists. The whole story is unbelievable but Jessica insists that it is true. So, the sheriff decides to take a drive to the location of the house with Jessica. When they reach there, they find no such house, and Jessica is flabbergasted. She doesn't know what to think, but she finds her ring on the grass. She's tired, 
and she just wants to go back. On their way, the sheriff asks her to take out the camera from the glove box. It's the same camera that Jessica used, and inside Isaac tells her to look back. She sees Isaac and the old man in their red truck driving by. That's when the sheriff stops the car and explains how Isaac and the old man are spirits who keep the area clean by removing all the wicked people. She asks Jessica to be thankful that she survived and to use this chance to do good. The film ends with Jessica going back to the station while the red truck is driving down the empty country roads. And that wraps up our recap for the movie A House on the Bayou. Feel free to drop a comment below as to what we should recap next. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching, and see you next time on another Real Recapped.